new every morning. Great is his faithfulness. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Father, we rejoice in your mercy and we give you glory for your goodness as individuals and families and as a church locally and globally to receive our thanks. We are not the best of all people. We are just simply chosen by you loved by you therefore receive our thanks Amen. and all the saints of god join me say thank you jesus thank you. be blessed today Amen. for your coming to thank god receive the blessing of perfection Amen. receive the blessing of exemption Receive prophetic impartation of the mantle. Yeah. You will still be here at the end of the year thanking God. Yeah. Everyone who has been engaged in soul winning and establishment, I pronounce God's mighty blessing and reward upon your life. Yeah. You will never know what it means to be stranded again. Yeah. In Jesus' precious name. And now, Lord, send your word to us, lighten us, empower us, and let everyone who came in here this morning return with joy. In Jesus' glorious name. Amen. Please give God a big hand and get seated. Help me welcome your neighbors to this end of the month Thanksgiving. Tell somebody out there, I thank God for you. I thank God for you. If your neighbor didn't do that well, ask him, oh, I want to thank God for me. Well, God is a good God. Let us appreciate him again with a big hand. Let's have good fellowship with him this morning. Hallelujah. Welcome to 2021, your year of supernatural turn around. I want to joyfully also welcome you to this uh, triple nature service first of all we are here to give thanks to god for all of his blessings upon our lives remember lamentation chapter 3 verse 22 it is of the lord's mercy that we are not consumed his compassion faileth not and the following verse says they are new every morning great is his faithfulness all great men are always grateful to god if you are not grateful you cannot be great if you are grateful you will surely become great greatness is the heritage of the grateful greatness is the heritage of the grateful show me a grateful man today I will show you a great man tomorrow if you don't learn how to be grateful you will never graduate into greatness if you don't learn how to be grateful you will never graduate in greatness or into greatness greatness is a heritage of the grateful i was asking myself this morning how did i arrive here how did i arrive here lord how did i arrive here and i can't tell so i'm grateful to god he is faithful so i'm grateful only those who pass through the school of gratitude will end and graduate in greatness please learn this lesson ever grateful is key to unending greatness ever grateful is key to unending greatness greatness stops where gratitude stops 
Nebuchadnezzar stopped being grateful and he was sent on sabbatical to the bush so he can go and learn his lesson in a hard way. Humble yourself to be grateful if you don't want God to humiliate you in shame and reproach. I don't know about you, but I'm grateful to God. He's made all things beautiful for me. Glory to God forevermore. Wave your hand again and say, thank you, Jesus. The prophetic focus for this month is empowered to God, I mean, to go about my father's business. Remember I said, first of all, we are thanking God this morning. Number two, we are receiving our touch or covering of exemption. And number three, we're receiving prophetic impartation. Our teaching series every Sunday, this being the last one, number four in the series, 4A, specifically in this service, engaging the manifestation of the Holy Spirit for supernatural breakthrough. Recognition of the ministry of the Holy Spirit is the key to opening up your destiny. I want to repeat that again. Recognition of the ministry of the Holy Spirit is the key that opens up your destiny. Now your destiny is there, but may remain short and unrealizable until you recognize the ministry of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is God's agent for our profitable living. The Holy Spirit is God's agent for realizing our destiny. Now, in Zechariah chapter 4, verses 1 to 6, there is the narration of the golden candlestick golden powerful and he said to me what says thou verse 2 and i said i have looked and behold a candlestick all of gold all of gold with a bowl upon the top of it and his seven lamps thereon and seven pipes to the seven lamps which are upon the top thereof and two olive trees by it one upon the right side and the other on the left side thereof so i answered I speak to the angel what are these my lord and the angel said unto me no it's not that what this be and i said no my lord and he said verse six this signifies to the, by the word of the lord to zerubbabel very strong man not by might nor by power but by my spirit said the lord of hosts golden stick your destiny is golden but it is the spirit of the lord that empowers it to become a reality now going around the world i have seen many potentials many potentials there is nothing they don't have yet nobody knows them and so it is with jesus great grace great calling upon his life but nobody knew him until he was filled with the holy spirit the holy spirit is the primer of your destiny is the ignition of your destiny no matter how beautiful a car is if there is no ignition it cannot move and the glory of a car is in movement not in parking the glory of a vehicle is in motion not in parking so also the glory of your destiny is in manifestation not in decoration now as we have examined in the past series we want to look at three things this morning again that the holy spirit will do for you to be profitable in your life Number one, the Holy Spirit imparts the believer with the spirit of dedication. 
the spirit of dedication which is key to distinction only the dedicated will end in distinction greatness is reserved for those who dedicate themselves to serving the Lord John 10 17 to 18 here we see what it means to be dedicated therefore that my father loved me because I lay down my life I lay down my life that is the definition of dedication laying down your life because I lay down my life dead to self that's the meaning of dedication chapter 12 of the same chapter verses 23 to 26 except a corn of wheat fall to the ground and die Jesus said it abided alone so dedication means to be dead making your life as a seed seed is to be planted seed is to be buried not seeking recognition buried with Christ Philippians chapter 1 verse 21 for me to live is Christ for me to die is gain so there is no gain except through death life emerges through the process of death if we put a grain of seed on this altar for the next 20 years it will remain here but if you put it in the soil in the next three months it is out not the way you put it but a multiplied form so dedication is key to multiplication dedication is key to unending greatness mark 4 30 to 33 very beautiful parable of jesus whereunto shall we liken the kingdom of god or with what comparison shall we compare it it is like a grain of mustard seed which when it is sown in the heart is less less than all the seeds that be in the heart less you may look less today but dedicate yourself to god and when it is sown when it is sown as less as it is when it is sown it grows up if you want to grow lay down your life become a great than all herbs and shoot it out great branches you see little seed great branches little seed less great branches so that the fowls of the air may lodge under the shadow of it say loud amen, amen. you may look less today give your life to god that's my story that's my story i look so less i look so less but i give my life to christ and today by the help of god great tree with great branches catering for people who want to abide under the shadow that's dedication it is the holy spirit that empowers you to live a dedicated life number two the holy spirit imparts upon the believer the spirit of boldness boldness only the bold will become broad if you are not bold you'll be limited you'll be narrowed down it takes boldness to assess and possess your possession there are many giants on the way who won't let you take what belongs to you winning in life is not by wishes it's by boldness and as i speak to you right now i release upon you the spirit of boldness now say i receive it <laughs> you need that you need that a lot many people are not able to build their house today because they lack boldness you need boldness you need boldness somebody met me early in the week um he came all the way from kaduna he said some years ago 
I heard you say, if you want to build your house, don't wait for money. Start harassing the ground. How? Buy 100 blocks, if that's what you can buy. Buy gravel. Buy sand. He said, then I had only 30,000 naira. And I went and put sand. I put stones. And then I started. He said, now I have my second house. From nowhere. You need boldness. You need boldness. Boldness to move forward. You are considering the conditions too much. That's why you are not moving forward. This COVID is it setting a lot of things back. What concerns you with COVID? COVID-19. You are in 2021. You are still talking about COVID-19? This salary cell, what can it do? Start. Be bold. This ministry started with zero money. But bold steps, bold action, bold declarations. You need boldness to be free from sickness. Walk out on the devil. That sickness can kill you. You need boldness. Say, I receive it. <laughs> Listen to me. Satan is a coward, though. He's a coward. He's using intimidation on you because you are too quiet. Boldness. The Holy Spirit imparts on us the spirit of boldness. Jesus could not have fulfilled his ministry without boldness. Here were Pharisees, Sadducees, looking at him every day, intimidating him. But the Bible says his words were with power. Not like the words of the scribes and the Pharisees. Jesus will see somebody with a withered hand and tell him, stretch forth your hands. Boldness. Now I release it on you. I release it on you. Many people miss their job opportunities for lack of boldness. You are looking for a job, you are looking for jetty. Is it not human beings that are talking to you? They ask you what is your name and you forget your name. <laughs> Hallelujah. It takes boldness for your room to be created for you. For your room to be created for you. There is a room waiting for you. You can't get there anyhow. You need the spirit of boldness to enter. Say loud amen. It takes boldness to move from town to go to Canaan land. Boldness. Boldness. Here you are, 50,000 people gathering inside town. And you say you are going to Canaan land. Far distance, traffic, nobody's living around there. Just like coming to Goshen here, you leave town, churches are still there. And the God servant said, Go. God servant, Bishop Wedoku, he asked us to come here. And came here, and church is growing, and it has not stopped growing. And people are coming from everywhere. Boldness. You never enter into your destiny without boldness. And that is imparted by the Holy Spirit. Some of you are loaded, you have potential to have business empire. But you are still struggling somewhere because of fear, intimidation. How can I leave this place to go to this place? A board at hand is better than a thousand in the bush. That's what they say. That's for mediocres. That's for mediocres. Numbers chapter 14 verse 28. Two young boys said, we are well able. In chapter 13, verse 30, they said, we are well able. We are well able. And God said, that's right. You are able. You are able. But you know what? The secret of it, chapter 14, verse 24, they had another spirit. 14, 24. But my servant Caleb, because he had another spirit with him, the spirit of boldness, Say, I receive it. Let me hear you very well. 
Acts chapter 4 verse 13 they looked at the disciples of Jesus they saw boldness now when they saw the boldness of Peter you see when the devil sees your boldness he clears away for you and perceived that they were unlearned and ignorant men they didn't have what it takes like other human beings they marveled and they took knowledge of them that they had been with Jesus boldness is the mark of Christ and you are a child of Christ say with me I have boldness say it like you have it they saw their boldness they were intimidated they went and prayed verses 29 to 33 that God will grant unto them boldness that they may speak the word number one expression of boldness is utterance utterance you see what you say fuels your motion stagnation begins with short mouth closed mouth you discover that when you start speaking you start moving declaration utterance is the fuel to motion anytime you feel stagnated start speaking to yourself yes i can make it i can do all things through christ jesus that strengthens me i know my future is very bright my destiny is very sure satan you cannot stop me if he cannot stop you from speaking he cannot stop you from action and if he cannot stop you from action he cannot stop you from taking what belongs to you say i receive boldness look at david it is boldness that gave him his place here was goliath intimidating everybody wouldn't let them move if they bond you well goliath will say if now your papa bond you if that your god be true god make you not come here now everybody was shaking and david came to the king and said hey chapter 17 verse 32 let no man's heart fail him because of this philistine your servant will go and fight him uh -uh. nobody has spoken like that before i will go i will go and david began to speak he began to speak and when he saw goliath coming <laughs> goliath was threatening am i a dog that you are bringing it you know steak and uh, stick david said i will show you today you are a dog you are a dog now I counted how many words Goliath spoke. Goliath spoke 32 words. David spoke 130 words. 132 words. And he rushed towards Goliath and brought down his head. All your Goliath shall be brought down today. Don't say it hey what if you say it doesn't happen hey what if you say it and it happens because God confirms the words of his servant and performs the counsel of his messenger therefore open wide your mouth and God said I will feel it Psalm 81 verses 10 to 14 verse 11 they said my people will not hearken to my voice their mouth is too heavy and Israel will none of me so I gave them up I was tired because they won't speak you see your utterance moves the hand of God your mouth moves the hand of God when your mouth is closed the hand of God is down when your mouth is closed the hand of God is down when your mouth opens the hand of God is lifted I'm tired of them God said because they will not say they don't know you don't know how much God can do until you do the much of your talking talk much God will do much talk less God will do less talk small God will do small talk big God will do big don't you see the way we have been talking here 1,000 churches shall be built were they built or not built your mouth is the control of the hand of God your mouth is the control of the hand of God where you are now is not to be blamed on witches and wizards your mouth should be queried your mouth should be queried yes, 
number three spirit that the Holy Spirit imparts on you is the spirit of joy. The spirit of joy which enhances your fruitfulness, your soundness of health. Joyful people are fruitful people. Joyful people are great people. Joy. If you lose your joy, you have lost your destiny. Destiny flourishes by joy. Jesus was joyous and he rejoiced in the spirit. Excitement, enthusiasm is the fruit of joy. Those who don't have joy cannot see a tomorrow. Without joy, there is no hope. Without joy, there is no tomorrow. Don't let anything take your joy from you. Ever joyous, ever excited. For the joy of the Lord is my strength. Joy unspeakable, full of glory. Psalm Isaiah 61 verse 3 is given to you the spirit of joy and gladness in the place of heaviness. The oil of joy for money. The garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. Beauty for ashes. You may not look like it. Get excited. You are on your way going there. You are on your way going there. <laughs> Hallelujah. I had only one pair of shoes. One coat to wear. 1987, 1988, 1987. But you can't beat my joy. You can't beat my joy. When I got married with my wife, we had only two bags. Only two bags for our possession worldwide. Amen. I mean, and those two bags were powerful bags. In those days when you have an iron edge, and then the, the iron was too strong, the leather covering it as torn. When we are traveling, we put it away from us so that nobody will identify them with us. <laughs> but my eye is on them. Because if you carry the bag, you have carried all my properties in life. But ever joyous, ever joyous. After a while, had the jalopy to ride. Man, the jalopy, six people have used it before. I mean, you don't need to uh, open the carpet to see the floor. You just, because everything was torn. No dashboard, nothing. But ever joyous. Ever joyous. One day I was so excited. And wore my three piece or my collar, my ministerial collar, and stood be before the car. Oh, yeah, snap me right now. Amen. <laughs> Amen. There are things you should not miss in your life. Don't miss the opportunity to rejoice when you are low. Don't miss the opportunity. Don't miss the opportunity. Don't bow your head in defeat. Get excited every day. Hallelujah. Joy is the celebration of God in spite of negative situation. First Peter chapter 1 verse 8 talks about joy unspeakable, full of glory. Joel 1.12. Your fruitfulness is tied to your joy. Nehemiah 8.10. Your strength is tied to your joy. For the joy of the Lord is your strength. Ever joyful, ever strong. Ever joyful, ever healthy. May you receive the spirit of dedication. The spirit of boldness. The spirit of joy. Now, on this covenant day of exemption, my God will exempt you from all crises of life. God who exempted his people from all the plagues that took place in Egypt is still the same today. Exodus 8, 22. He exempted them. He's still on duty. And I will severe in that day the land of Goshen in which my people dwell. Are you dwelling here? What did he say will do for you? He will severe. The word severe means to exempt. To be separated to be marked out that no storms of fly shall be there to the end that thou mayest know that i'm the lord in the midst of the heart 
your exemption is a proof that your God is your God. Chapter 9, verse 4. And the Lord shall severe between the cattle of Israel and the cattle of Egypt. Now, there is a demarcation. You are not the same with them. You are in the world, but you are not of the world. And there shall nothing die. How many things will die? Oh, I want to hear you very well. Will anything die of your own? There shall nothing die, human or others, of all that is the children of Israel. Say with me, nothing will die. In my hand, in my house, nothing will die. In my business, in my career, how many things will die? A big shout to the Lord. Exodus chapter 10, verses 21 to 23. Look at that again. And the Lord said unto Moses, Stretch out your hand toward heaven, and there that there may be darkness over which land? The land of Egypt, even darkness which may be felt. And Moses stretched forth his hand towards heaven, and there was a thick darkness in all the land of Egypt. Three days. They saw not one another, neither rose any from his place for three days. But, say so me about. But all, not some, including you, the children of Israel, had light in their dwellings. What will you have from now? What will they have? What about you? What will you have? Light. Amen. And I am the Lord, I change yet not what he did before he's doing again. Malachi chapter 3, verse 6, Hebrews 13, 8. Jesus Christ, the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. From today, no more sickness in your body. From today, no more robbery attack over your family. From today, no more kidnapping of your relations. From today, no more story of hired assassin. From today, your business will not go down. From today, no more accident for you. No more untimely death in your family. No more evil news will come to you. There shall no evil befall you. No plague will come near your dwelling. Amen. But we must have a revelation of our exemption right in Christ. Exemption is your right. Somebody say with me, exemption is my right. <laughs> Colossians 1, 13. Very clear word of the Lord. He had delivered us, not that he would deliver us, he has already provided for it from the power of darkness and has translated us. You are seated in a different place into the kingdom of his dear son. That is the provision that God has made for you. We are kept by the power of God. Zechariah chapter 3 verses 4 5 and 8 and he answered and spake unto those Zechariah chapter 2 rather please chapter 2 verse 4 5 and 8 and he said wrong speak to this young man saying Jerusalem shall be without that stands without wall and all of that verse 5 for I said the Lord will be unto her a wall of fire so me, I have a wall of fire round about and will be the glory in the midst thereof. Why? Verse 8, because you are the apple of his eye and he that touched you touched the apple of his eye. Say with me, I cannot be touched. But for us to realize this, we must have, we must keep the love of God alive in our hearts. 
to actualize our exemption heritage in Christ. Psalm 91 verse 14, because he has set his love upon me. Lovers of God are kept in the secret place of God. Lovers of God are kept in the secret place of God. Romans 8 28 all things work together including exemption for those that love him may you live in the love of God what more we must remain dedicated to kingdom advancement endeavors for you shall serve the Lord your God he will bless your bread and your water he will take sickness away from you he will exempt you from sickness from unfruitfulness from barrenness example of Job Job chapter 1 verses 8 to 10 he was a lover of God he was a servant of God and the Lord said to say that have you considered my servant God always boasts of his servants my servant Job that there is none like him in the heart a perfect and an upright man one that feared God and eschewed evil <laughs> and Satan said uh, I've seen your Job do you think if he has you for nothing I know you are rewarding him because he's serving you you have made an edge about him and about his house and about all that he had every side and you have blessed the works of his hand and his substance is increased in the land when their suffering decrease you will enjoy increase when they are selling their properties you will be buying their properties when they are running out of town you'll be possessing their possessions those who advance his kingdom are automatically exempted serving god gets him committed to sparing you as his treasure malachi chapter 3 verses 17 to 19 they shall be mine share the lord of hosts you becomes god's property when you are serving him in that day when i make up my jewels my precious ones and i will spare them i will spare them I will separate them. I will exempt them. As a man spirit is son that serveth him. Now, receive grace to serve. Yeah. What more? We must continue to speak openly and fear free. We have said so much about that earlier. Of our exemption right. Psalm 91. Verse all the way to it. I will say of the Lord. He is my refuge. My fortress. My God in whom I trust, be careful what you are saying. I will say of the Lord. Don't say of the world. I will say of the Lord. Don't say what's happening in America. I will say of the Lord. Don't say what's happening in Borno State. I will say of the Lord. He is my refuge and my fortress. My God in whom I trust. What will happen there after verse 3? As I say it, surely he shall deliver thee. What you say is what moves him to deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. I shall not die but live. David will say, and then God will deliver him. He shall cover thee with his wings, with his feathers, and under his wings shall thou trot. His truth shall be your shield and buckler. And as it is, if you're saying it, thou shalt not be afraid for the terror. You see. Fear is destroyed by what you say. As I say it, I shall not be afraid of the terror by night. The cure to fear is your declaration. Anything you speak against, you don't fear again. Say loud, amen. amen. And what more finally? you must remain in the secret place of god you must remain you must abide he that dwelleth he that abided in the secret place that's why you can't afford to be relating with god at a distance you must abide in god you must abide in the church in his house you must abide in the house of god you must abide under prophetic cover over your life don't joke with this place abide abide with god abide in the church 
abide under your prophetic cover. Those who stay under cover cannot be attacked by the enemy. Abide in God. Abide in his house. Abide under prophetic cover. My life is so secure. Secured in God. Secured in the church. Church people cannot be tampered with anyhow. And my life is secured under my prophets. I am 45. You can't kill me until you kill them. You can't get me until you get to Edebo. You are wasting your time. You are, I mean, you are completely wasting your time. I can say that to you a million times. Anything evil that cannot happen to Edebo cannot happen to me. <laughs> Hallelujah. Ah. One day Saul was looking for David And David went and stayed with Samuel And Saul sent soldiers To go and arrest David As they were approaching Samuel They started prophesying uh -uh. People to go and arrest him man. They fell under the power The power, the prophetic covering That was on Samuel Until Saul said I will go myself he got there, he removed his dress and started prophesying. <laughs> Anyone looking for you is wasting their time. <laughs> Say with me, I am undercover. The cover of God. The cover of the church. The cover of the prophets. That's why this morning again, we are administering the prophetic mantle. Amen. What is a prophetic mantle? Very simple. A clothing materials that conveys the virtue of the prophet. Clothing material. It can be anything physical material that conveys the virtue that the prophet carried. When Elisha got the cloth, the mantle that fell from Elijah, he did exactly the same thing. The prophetic mantle is a medium for you to be able to do what your prophet is doing. One day I was privileged to go and represent God's servant to Edepo in Congo. He gave me a mantle and I put it in my pocket. And while ministering, the blind brought a, a blind man to me and I prayed for him. Holding the mantle in my pocket. No shock tadaya. Come on, blind eyes open. The next thing I saw, everybody was clapping, the eyes were open. Whatever happens in the hand of your spiritual fathers must begin to happen in your hand. <laughs> one of our men here in his farm, one day, all his cow, the cattle, the all of them were stolen by rustlers. And they got there, according to him, waved this mantle. They said, go and report to the police. He said, I've reported it to God. All the cows, all the cows, without a shepherd, all of them returned. Man! Oh! Oh! All of them Amen. If the family of Oedipo cannot crash, my own cannot crash. You see, some people are wondering, are we promoting men? No. We are promoting the grace of God on their lives. Now, when Jesus came, his family members, they doubted him. And so he could not do much miracles in their midst. The reason why the virtue of Oedipo is working in my life is because I celebrate the grace of God upon his life. I don't doubt anything which God has placed upon his life. You have a right to doubt him if you want to. You have a right to doubt him if you want to. But I don't. There were 51 sons of the prophet that followed Elijah. Only one of them got the mantle. Only one. Only one. All of us have the privilege to enjoy the same. 
but your faith your faith is what makes the difference say I believe I, I can hear you very well I say I believe I believe the Lord your God you shall be established believe also in his prophet you shall prosper now of the 12 disciples Peter was an excellent one why Peter believed Jesus most there was no instruction that Jesus gave that Peter did not believe Peter come on the waters yes sir Peter sell your shoes by the sword Peter went and bought the sword and hid it under his dress others were saying what is this man talking about that is how we assess the prophetic grace Elisha was tied to Elijah for the mantle to flow on his life listen to this everything declared on you today shall come to pass you shall not die but live you shall not suffer miscarriage again you are exemplar from failure in your life all your children will excel so shall it be give god a big hand you are here this morning you have not given your life to jesus you are living in sin I don't mean to condemn you but you too know you are living in sin you are living in sin I don't know where you came from this morning maybe from a house where you do not belong maybe from some spots that you know is not right your conscience even tells you something is wrong I don't know how you live your life Monday to Saturday today you look very pious in church but you know you are living in sin you know it again i'm not saying this to condemn you i'm saying this for you to realize that you need to return back to god like the prodigal son i want to return to god somebody is saying that right now you're saying pastor please pray for me i want to be free wherever you are allow the church to pray with you stand to your feet right now right now you have been born again in the past but you are still meddling with sin you are backsliding or you are backsliding you are doing secret things that nobody knows but god knows you are looking very pious everybody's commending you oh this is a very good brother this is a very good sister but inside you you know you are like sepulchre please repent change your ways stand on your faith all of you who are standing and those who will join them can you come to the altar not to meet me but to meet with jesus this is the altar of god come right now if you are coming take along with you your bible and any other thing you came to church with come come and surrender your life to jesus jesus will save you jesus will show you mercy jesus will turn your life around for good i want to be saved i want to be born again quickly come god bless you very sincere people I want to thank God for all of you very sincere people you are not playing the hypocrisy this morning you are open up yourself to God now some individuals are still seated don't wait to be appealed to it's a thing you know it's a thing you know you know you must be born again don't hesitate don't sit down wondering Am I the one they are talking about? It's you Jesus is talking about. It's you. Don't let sin rule your destiny. You know how much you have suffered the devastation of sin. Stand up now. By the authority in the name of Jesus, you must be saved this morning. You must be born again this morning. I'm talking to you. I'm talking about you this morning. Stand up. Run to give your life to Jesus I don't know somebody is still there watching <laughs> ah, 
Satan, you must leave this ones alone. You must release them this morning because this is the idea of salvation. I'm talking to 15 more people here who needs to be saved today. I mean, today is your day of salvation. Today is your day of salvation. Therefore, stand up right now. Church, a big hand for Jesus. Jesus is saving souls here this morning. Satan is losing this morning. God bless you. God bless you. While we are waiting for the others to come, because they are still coming. Some others are still standing up. They are still coming. If you are coming, hasten your step down here. All of us in front, and as you are coming to join them, lift up your right hand, bow your head in prayer, and say this prayer with me. Say with me, Lord Jesus. Make it loud. Lord Jesus, have mercy on me. Save me today. Make me your child from today. Wash my sins away. Give me a new beginning. Right now, I believe in my heart and I confess with my mouth that Jesus Christ is my Lord and my Savior. Thank you, Jesus, for writing my name in the book of life, for giving me a new beginning. I am now your child. In Jesus' name, amen. Heavenly Father, we receive these souls into your kingdom. We thank you because Satan has no power over them. In Jesus' wonderful name, amen. God bless you. Please open your eyes. I would like all of you to please go with our church officials this way. This way. Everybody, please start going this way. God bless you, church. A big hand as they go. Somebody shout, I'm exempted. All elders and deacons, please come join quickly. All elders and deacons, so we can do this very quickly. By the prophetic mantle today, <laughs> whatever authority is vested upon this commission through the apostle over this commission Oedipo, is released upon you right now let me hear your loud amen please i want you to get set put your faith on the line as this prophetic mantle touches you today you become one of the sons of the prophets performing wonders in the name of jesus in the name of jesus there shall be no more sickness for you no more disease for you upon your getting home you wave the mantle in your business place many years back i mean money was not flowing at your flow for me and i told my briefcase you are not only to be carrying books you have to be carrying money and hit the mantle <laughs> and then the thing began to flow we don't lack all of you know it your spiritual fathers don't lack we don't beg you will never beg again let me hear your loud prophetic amen because we don't lack you will never lack again in your life because we don't beg you will never beg again in your life now be reminded get the books of the months get the teachings and uh, we are stepping into the last week of Operation by all means. Let me tell your neighbor it is the last week. Tell your neighbor you shall be productive. I want to specially pray for everyone who has been committed. God told me to bless you. And I see you blessed. You are doing what we are doing. You will see what we are saying. I want to hear your loud amen. You are obeying what we tell you. You will enjoy what we enjoy. From this season, your fruits, your rewards of obedience to win souls, to see them established, shall be fully released upon your life. In the name of Jesus. Good news for next Sunday. <laughs> Hallelujah. Next Sunday shall be your covenant day of all round rest. All round rest. From this season, you believe as if the devil does not exist you will look for him you will not find him again as they are talking about the devil you'll be wondering eh, what what did you say you said what you said what the devil i, I can't feel him all round rest everywhere you go what will you enjoy from now all round rest all who want to enjoy that make sure you are here next sunday We'll also be giving thanks to God for the great harvest that will be coming in and 
ensure that you meet up with your target minimum two souls established in the house of God I know you will make it and the Spirit of God will help you in Jesus precious name rise to your feet everybody we are ready to receive the prophetic grace we are ready to receive the seal of exemption all who are worshiping with us for the very first time may I request you to come to the altar so that we can administer to you directly the pastoral blessing and you'll be receiving your own prophetic touch here right at the altar all worshiping with us for the very first time now while they are coming I want everyone here right now to do Psalm 91 verse 2 I will say of the Lord is my refuge my fortress my God in whom I trust raise your voice right now declare who God is to you declare your exemption exemption from family crisis exemption from unfruitfulness exemption from accident exemption from job termination exemption somebody raise your voice and pray say it loud to take it large are you doing that right now i'm exempted exempted from sickness from disease from crisis from failure all first time worshipers if you are coming come to the altar quickly i'm exempted exempted from trouble exempted from failure exempted from begging exempted from poverty exempted from failure declare your exemption somebody mighty father mighty father mighty father mighty father believe in this prophetic grace upon your servant and receive the same right now mighty father mighty father mighty father mighty father your prophetic grace is released for healing for transformation for deliverance every blessing we desire every blessing we require we believe in you law we believe in you law we believe in your servant law let's start moving we believe in you law 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 in jesus precious name please take position all who are administering take position and wait for final word before you start uh, circulating the mantle just take position for the meantime father in the name of jesus as this prophetic mantle goes round right now we administer life to all let everyone receive according to their heart's desires in the name of Jesus so shall it be all of our friends first time worshipers we welcome you very dearly this morning it shall be well with you in Jesus name everybody in the assembly get seated and um, immediately the administration of the mantle will go on right now what you do is you touch your own handkerchief place it on your forehead for your exemption and for every other blessing you desire this morning it's all yours in the name of jesus christ thank you jesus once again we welcome all of you we know god brought you here this morning we look forward to greater blessings upon your life in jesus wonderful name please let's administer the mantle to our guest here this morning as you receive yours they will guide you and direct you how to go something is happening to someone here this morning this prophetic mantle is working wonders in your life this prophetic mantle is working wonders in your life in case you couldn't come with a mantle or with an handkerchief just touch your cloth the cloth you are wearing right now is converted to a prophetic mantle you get back home you see one that's working somebody like that after um shiloh go back home remove his dress to take his bath they have been waiting on the law for their children and then the wife wore the dress and that was it the woman conceived the miracle took place please as soon as you receive your own touch of the mantle you stand to your feet giving glory to god giving praise to him right now can we have more people please administer this in very fast place god bless you god bless you don't keep quiet begin to apply the mantle right now the way you want it you want to place it on your head or any part of your body believing god for manifestation this morning you are receiving it 
you are receiving it you are receiving it in the name of jesus you are receiving it you are receiving it in the name of jesus you are receiving it right now you are receiving it right now the prophetic grace the prophetic mantle you are receiving it right now in the name of jesus christ son of the living god yes i believe declare your exemption everybody i'm exempted be very specific i'm exempted from family crisis i'm exempted from divorce i'm exempted from unfruitfulness i'm exempted i'm exempted from children failure i'm exempted from confusion i'm exempted i'm exempted from failure raise your voice somebody declare what you expect declare what you desire god is confirming this word in your life thank you mighty father in jesus wonderful name we are praying now i declare your full exemption today no matter the arrows of the enemy they will not find you god who protected moses protected three million people three million people every member of this commission of this assembly is entitled to what our spiritual fathers are enjoying therefore in fullness i transfer to you today every grace available to you in this commission jordan will no longer threaten you the red sea will no longer block you everyone desiring new job opportunities take it from today in the name of jesus everyone suffering stagnation in business in career it is all over from today whatever is blocking your access to the fullness of god's blessing in your life are hereby taken out of the way be blessed be blessed be blessed and let all who will share their testimonies this we shout aloud amen i ban every form of sickness and disease from this assembly robbery no more around your life in jesus glorious name so shall it be and all the saints of god say a very loud amen remember on saturday we'll be having our last soul winning outreach so ensure you participate in your various district to enjoy the fullness of god's blessing also our target for opening self fellowship for this season is this coming saturday if you have not opened self fellowship in your house you have had enough testimony somebody this morning this morning said i was living in an apartment somewhere self two room apartment and then as soon as we opened the cell two weeks after somebody gave us a house in sun city in f city look your miracle is waiting for you so all of you who desire for cell to be open in your house immediately after sharing the goodness i'd like you to meet with me here by the altar so i can pray with you and as soon as you receive that blessing expect god's turn around in your life it is well with you in the name of jesus are you glad you came today can you see a bright most bright week for you on wednesday we'll be having the last midweek service which is going to prepare us to take the balance of our blessing don't miss it it is well with you in the name of jesus go in peace enjoy the fullness of god's blessing in the name of jesus so shall it be together as a family loudly let us share the goodness for our exemption surely god's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives and we shall dwell amen welcome to 2021 your year of supernatural turnaround then expect turnaround to become your new identity henceforth
Congratulations.